The development process for the 2S1 Vostica, also known as Carnation, 122mm self-propelled howitzer commenced in 1967. Initial prototypes were constructed in 1969, and it was officially adopted by the Soviet Army in 1971. Mass production of the 2S1 Gwostyka began in 1972, with its public debut taking place during a Polish army parade in 1974. This artillery system was widely deployed and even exported to various Soviet allies. It has actively participated in numerous military conflicts and remains operational in several countries today. The 2S1 Gwostyka is equipped with AD. 32 122mm rifled howitzer, which is a modified version of the D-30 towed howitzer. It features a loading assistance system and can achieve a maximum firing rate of 4 to 5 shells per minute. The Gvostica is compatible with the full range of 122mm munitions developed for the D-30 howitzer, encompassing fragmentation, HEFRAG, heat, cluster, smoke, and illumination shells. Typically, the vehicle carries 40 shells, often consisting of 35 HEFRAG and 5 heat rounds. Its effective firing range using an HEFRAG shell is 15.2 km. Although this range might seem limited by modern standards, it was competitive with artillery systems of its era in the late 1960s and 1970s. Interestingly, the Soviets considered the Gvostica to be a highly accurate artillery piece. It was designed to utilize Soviet 122mm ammunition. While some countries introduced their own 122mm ammunition with similar specifications and powder charges, the 2S1 Vostica struggles to achieve the same level of accuracy with non-original ammunition. Employing ammunition produced by other nations sometimes necessitates several shots with guidance from forward artillery observers to precisely target the intended area. The crew of the artillery system comprises four individuals, including the commander, gunner, loader, and driver. The hull and turret are constructed from welded steel armor, offering protection against small arms fire and artillery shell fragments. The vehicle is equipped with an NBC protection system. The 2S1 Gvostica is built upon a modified chassis from the MTLB multipurpose armored vehicle. It is powered by a YMZ 238V diesel engine, generating 240 horsepower. The vehicle can operate in amphibious mode, although its ammunition load needs to be reduced to 30 shells for river and lake crossings. It moves across water surfaces using its tracks, achieving a maximum speed of 4.5 km per hour. The 2S1 Gvostica SPH is capable of being transported by military transport aircraft such as the N-12, IL-76, C-130, and similar models. Variants of the 2S1 Gvostica include the modernized 2S-34 Hosta, and the UR-77 Meteor at Minefield Breaching Vehicle. The latter was designed for clearing pathways through minefields during offensive operations. It utilizes the chassis of the 2S1 Vostica howitzer and carries two mine clearing line charges. The UR-77 was introduced into the Soviet military in 1977.